This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful Stake of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a... Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man. How's Carol with Simmel? I am with him and I'm selling him. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, Uh-huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Third down in, and the defense goes for the jugular and run. And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. Third down and five. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and nine. If you don't hear it coming, it'll be catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh. 
Second down and a very lot. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the schedule now. They all have... <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Defense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible now. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third down and well, good luck. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Don't want to make any mistakes here. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. That ought to stop them. Oh, the defense must have gone a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up. And then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And this game is up for grabs. Third down, the offense needs a miracle. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. And the putter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Briggs. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Second down and long. Target more often. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? <laughs> Second down and five. And the Vickers won and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Oh, that's how he spent his entire offseason. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. 
And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and a lot. He just made mincemeat out of that guy. Hey, what is mincemeat anyway? Is it like bologna? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a sandwich. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. It's like a bloodmobile crashing into a slaughterhouse. Second down and ten. Defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. Caught for the first down. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And it's first and ten. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down and more than the QB would like. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can... They stomped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Nicely done for a first down. First and eight to go. And 
And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Perfect pass and a score! Wow, this is just horrible to watch. It looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him! He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I had to made it the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. I thought he was going to make it. Yeah, so did his coach. Someone get that shot. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, geez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. the chains moving that was beautiful is important. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Third down and six. Pick up 
picks up two yards on the pass. Damn, this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Bricks. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, well, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And 
it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. But if this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just gonna say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife Strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. And this is a first and low offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. Third down and forever. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and seven. Boom! And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Wow! 
The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and four. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And let the work be dirty, Brick. Look at him go. And like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting! Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. <laughs> Second down and seven. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And that'll bring up third down and seven. for the first down. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and six. And that's why they call it the money shot. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks.
And timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. And that'll be their final timeout. Second and three. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and four. for the touchdown. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Run. Hey, you killed Rev. It's not murder if you have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that, Rev, you pussies. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, ramming himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all. The Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.